happy Tuesday guys. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. I put on makeup. I have an event tonight, but before we go any further in the vlog, I wanted to do a little J. Crew haul because I just got sent some fabulous pieces for the holidays and I just am obsessed. If you didn't know, J. Crew is making the most major comeback. Oh my god, I just spoiled it. Let me show you the outfit. It's so dark in this mirror. Let me try to find some better lighting. I'm just realizing that not everything has to be like so tight to still be like sexy. I'm trying to use that word more because I do like it. It's like, oh, I'm feeling sexy tonight, whatever. But I feel like I used to think that whenever I wanted to dress sexy, I would have to wear like a tight bodysuit and tight jeans and all these things. And I'm just realizing that that's not true. It's also been a process kind of aging up my wardrobe out of college and getting out of that mindset of like the standard like college going out outfit to like transitioning to finding my own style and things like that. It's kind of just a side note. I could do a whole thing on like style, whatever, because you know, I'm still figuring that shit out. But this is a little J. Crew haul, like I said. They sent me over some pieces for the holidays that like chef's kiss. Starting with this. This is a set and like I feel like it's it, it, it is a little conservative, but at the same time, I feel like it's hot. I think I'm wearing an eight on top and a four bottom, just so you know. I feel like I normally take a six in pants, but I size down in J. Crew pants. And then the shirt I wear my true size, which is like a US eight usually. We've got some big boobs under here, believe it or not. Or there. So it has these feather sleeves. I feel like it's giving elevated pajamas. I really need like holiday parties to go to. I definitely think I have some in December. Or like a night out at the theater wearing this. Just something fun. I paired it with like these black uh, Prada heels. That I, they're just like a pointed heel. And the pants are fabulous too. They just are such a good flattering cut. I feel like this together, but also I feel like I could definitely wear these as two separate pieces. Like without a doubt. They're just cut so well, these pants. I'm obsessed with them. Wow. The lighting in my apartment at night is trash. So I apologize for that. But like... Holy crap. I will try to link these pieces down below, by the way. Then I got this purse. I've been looking for just like a cute purse for nighttime. And I feel like this is it. Like it's a good little clutch, but I think that it does. Yeah, it comes with a strap. I like that it's silver and sparkly and like beaded, but I have another beaded bag that like catches on my clothes and this one, it won't be a problem. It's just a very pretty like decorative clutch that I feel like will just be like a good going out thing. I don't really see the practicality of clutches because it's like, what do I do with it? Just like takes up space, but with the strap or I guess I could, I don't know. I just feel like this is very cute. I've been into things like just no labels, no logos, like whatever. It's just plain, simple, cute, right? And this one is even more covered up, I guess, but I still really like it. It's, so it's another two piece set. It's like the blazer and the skirt. I'm always really into this like cream colored vibe. I think I'm gonna wear something like this for Thanksgiving. Um, not this because I will be in Florida and it's gonna be hot so I don't need a jacket per se But like once again this for like a holiday party Maybe I'll wear this like my family Christmas like I feel like this would be perfect I'm still wearing the black heels because I mean I wouldn't wear it with these black heels But like I like the idea of like a pointed heel with this so maybe something like that cute though, right? Once again eight on top four on bottom I definitely like the black some more, but I still love this and the quality is so nice. Very cute. So those are my holiday pieces from J. Crew. Thanks for sending J. Crew. Okay, I'm home. <laughs> Woo. In some wrinkly pajamas. The event was amazing and they sent us home with some things. I got to pick out two things from the collection. They had like a passport cover, but me, I get two free things from the collection. I'm not gonna go for the cheapest thing. That's just, I, it, it's a toxic mindset, but like you tell me I get two free things, we're going in. So I decided to go for the most expensive thing in the collection, which is the duffel. I am just obsessed. You guys know I'm a juicy girl. I've been wearing my juicy track suits. I just, I love it. I was going through old videos and like I'm wearing my, I, I had like w a bunch of juicy stuff because I would go to the outlet and get juicy stuff with my mom and I had the jewelry and everything and I was like, oh my God, I'm such a juicy girl, like whatever. Juicy was like my designer of choice, like slay. I had to go for the classic. This is just like a juicy duffel. Blinged out and I know that it will have straps. I have another duffel from them, but I really like that this one because it's like velour, it crushes up a little bit easier. So I feel like I could almost bring a bag and like put this a bag in a bag situation also for like overnights and stuff my sleepover bag and then the other item i saw this and i knew i needed it because i love 
a big boy pouch. I have so many from Stony Clover, but like I still find a use for every single one. So I knew I needed another one for nice girls who like stuff. I think that's me. I think, I think it is. And it's just a big boy bag. It doesn't look that big on camera, but it actually is quite large and it's green velour. I wanted to get everything. If I could have, I would have, but you know, two, I'm more than grateful. Very appreciative. Thanks so much for having me. What a fabulous event they had so much food which i really appreciate i feel like at a lot of events they don't do that so i usually eat before and just like plan around it and stuff but they had so many past apps i even saw oysters at one point i was like this is amazing and the drinks the espresso martini katie and i split it i literally just needed to try it i was like okay katie we can split this and it was really good she's really good i'm gonna take off my makeup and get in bed and play disney dreamlight valley on my switch good morning I thought that we could do kind of like um, a quick get ready with me. I'm not even going to show you guys because I have my makeup video up on my channel. I have my everyday makeup routine all already posted. It's there. I keep getting questions on it and I'm like, I posted it not that long ago. But I'm getting ready for the day. We have such a fun day today. I have a few random things in the morning, but then I'm actually headed a little bit uptown. My mom, if you didn't know, um, she does sales on QVC and they're doing a remote live show. Normally they tape in Pennsylvania or my mom Skypes into work, but they're doing a remote live show in New York City and it's actually at the Serendipity. It's like a restaurant and they're known for their frozen hot chocolate. So I'm headed there in the afternoon to just stop by and see my mom for a little bit, even though I'm literally gonna see her on Friday because that's when I go to Florida for Thanksgiving, which I need to pack for that. That might be like tomorrow, I don't know. <laughs> And then I have an event tonight with MasterCard and then I'm going to dinner with friends, but I have a few things like sprinkled in between. So I have two outfits that we're kind of working with back there, but let's get ready and then let's have a chat. Getting my eyebrows done tomorrow and I'm very, very excited about it. I feel like I just need, needs a little shaping. Sitting on my bed to talk to you guys about my bedding. A lot of you have been asking about my new green bedding and uh, I feel like this is the perfect time to talk about Brooklyn. It is the holiday season, obviously. And um, if you're making your wish list for yourself or for others, Brooklyn is definitely something that you could put at the top of your wish list. I've been sleeping on Brooklyn sheets for a while. I've just had the white ones and then I had the linen ones and they've been great. They're always amazing. I got the Lux Hardcore Sheet Bundle to get this green color. I just wanted to switch it up and I am very happy about it. I feel like it really adds a nice like pop to my room, but not only the color. The sheets are just like amazing. I look forward to getting into bed. I just feel so comfortable. Brooklyn and sheets get softer with every wash. I know you're like, okay, that's impossible. They really do. There's a reason why I've been like so beyond loyal to this brand and it's just because the products are great. Linens of any kind can be so freaking expensive. It's hard to find that perfect blend of like actual good quality and reasonable prices. And for bedding, linens, anything like that, Brooklinen is your place. You spend a third of your life in bed or in your sheets at least. You wanna be comfortable, like that is where to invest. And right now Brooklinen is having their Black Friday sale. All Brooklinen products are 20% off. This is through the end of the month. It's their biggest sale of the year. So be sure to take advantage and get yourself some sheets, get a set, Put it on your wish list, send it to whoever you're sending it to. All you need to do is click the link below in my description and that discount will be applied at checkout. If you haven't tried Brooklyn, and the sheets are a great place to start and getting the bundle just makes it so easy. You can actually go into the website and customize. You can get like different sheets from your duvet cover or different pillowcases. Like you can really mix and match which I just think is so cool. Like I said, this is the Lux um, sheet set and like, boy, are they Lux, they're so good. Throughout the year, you've heard me talk about some other favorites from Brooklinen, but I figured I would shout them out just because it is the sale right now. So a little bit of like a gift guide roundup from Brooklinen. I literally asked for the towels a few years ago. Was it one year ago or two years ago? I think it was two years ago for the holidays. I asked for a set of Brooklinen towels and that was like game changer for me. They are the fluffiest, most amazing towels. You can get a move-in bundle too for the towels. So like it's all in one. So maybe if you're like moving into your own apartment for the first time or you're going to college, whatever it is, like that's a cool thing to add to your list. That's really like you're upgrading. If I didn't mention the robe, like I have to mention the robe. It's the same material as the towels. So I love it. Like when I first get out of the shower, once again, getting ready in it, etc., And then I just throw it in the wash the same way I do like with the towels and everything. I get a lot of questions about this robe because it's like big and comfy, but it's like a towel material, just so you know. So if you're looking for 
something like that. At least the one that I have that I recommend. But Brooklyn has a bunch of other stuff on their website. They have sleepwear. They even have like accessories for your bedroom and whatever, but I don't know. I would say start with the sheets and then you could go to the other stuff. They're seriously the most comfortable sheets I've ever slept on. So once again, click that link down below to get 20% off your Brooklinen purchase. So happy holidays. I love an early Black Friday sale. We'd love to see it. I need to get an outfit together. I'm like struggling with putting something together right now because I'm about to go quickly get my hair done and then head uptown. So we need to go. That's why this hair is struggling right now, seriously. I was struggling with an outfit. I wanted to wear like a blazer. And I was just like, mm, it just wasn't working. So I decided to wear this outfit. I was actually going to wear this later tonight to the event, come home, like do everything during the day, come home, change and like put this on. But the more and more I look at it, I'm happy I'm actually wearing it as a daytime thing. I think it could be super cute for night, but uh, I kind of have another outfit for the event tonight and then like a dinner. Actually, you saw it already in this vlog, but you know, my hair seriously needs to be done. It's like really just, I just didn't touch it because I just need it to be done. But this is an adorable sweater dress from Show Me Your Moo Moo. It's just a little tie at the waist, whatever. You know, I used to uh, not really love to wear stuff like this because I, I, in the past I would think, oh my gosh, that's not going to be like figure flattering. It's not going, like I'm not gonna look snatched or whatever because it's definitely just like a bigger sweater dress with like the tie at the waist. It's like a thicker material, but I've learned to realize literally who cares and like why do I always need to be wearing clothing that like makes me appear smaller? I don't. This is cute. I feel comfy. It's adorable actually. And then I'm wearing my Aloha's boots. So that's just a little note on that. Progress. You love to see it. But I do think it's really cute though, like the details on this. Cute. And I just wanted to wear like neutral boots because I'm gonna bring my neutral bag, neutral coat. Let's go get our hair done. Just went to Serendipity with my mom. All right, me just running from event to event today. I changed into that J. Crew set you saw yesterday. I'm going to a MasterCard event where I am taking content. Caroline is downstairs and we're going together. Let's go. Quickly home again. My voice is like hurting so much. I think because I did a lot of docking today. Quickly home. Just wanted to stop here really quick, grab maybe like a hat or something and whatever before my dinner now at Ozatar. Ozatar, Ozatar with my friends. We wanted to see each other like before everybody goes away for Thanksgiving, whatever, you know. I think it's good to schedule like girls dinners, get them on the calendar and be like, we're doing it. I'm in bed, so tired. Let's go to bed and tomorrow we'll have another day. Bye. Good morning. It's the next day and we're about to head out. We're going to the Bowery Mission. We're doing some volunteering with free people this morning. It's kind of like a free people day. It's volunteering in the morning and then we have like a break in between like a lunch break, whatever. Um, and then in the evening, there is a dinner. All the while, I need to pack. I have just mounds of clothes and things. Um, I need to figure out what I'm bringing to Florida with me. But we're headed over this morning. Um, it was wear like long pants and long shirt, etc. So I'm wearing a sweatshirt with this like turtleneck underneath and then some Lululemon yoga pants and I'm just gonna wear sneakers. Um, so yeah, we're gonna head over there. Probably not gonna be vlogging or whatever because I'm pretty sure my phone and everything will be away, but let's head over there. I got these cookies last night. I had one, they were amazing. These are like the last crumb cookies. They come in this big box and they're supposed to be like really bougie cookies. They're like expensive or whatever. I just have to say that they are delicious. I had like um, a chocolate lava cake one, but look at all these crazy flavors. Better than sex, but it's just chocolate chip. We'll see about that. So I guess I'll be eating cookies for lunch today. Good morning. Good morning. It's afternoon now. Hello. Hello. Oh. Just checking the hair. 